want to introduce you to my fictitious client, Corp. Corp and I have collaborated on creating a new website. Currently, this homepage exists on my computer where I built it out using WP Engines Local. Corp would like to review the progress made on its website. So I will put the existing code base under Git version control, push it up to my free GitHub repo and integrate GitHub actions to deploy the site to my WP Engine staging environment. This way, Corp can review the current iteration of their site while I continue developing new features for them in local. Today, I will show you how to initialize a WordPress project with Git version control and push the code to GitHub. Then I'll show you how to integrate GitHub Actions for automatic environment-targeted deployments. Using Local's Open Site Shell option, we can launch the WP CLI command line utility on our computer. This will put us at the root of our WordPress site. We'll change directories into WP content and run git init to put this directory under version control. We'll create a git ignore file so that we can tell git which files and directories we want to ignore. We will use WP Engine's Smart Plugin Manager to ease the burden of updating most of our everyday plugins. This will ensure that our site is always up to date. Smart Plugin Manager also runs testing to verify that nothing breaks during these updates and will notify us and roll back if anything odd is detected. With this in mind, we could ignore most of our site's plugins and just worry about our custom theme and a single custom plugin we maintain for Corp. Here we have an empty git ignore opened in the VS Code editor. Notice all the folders and files are green in the explorer on the right. Now if I add all the relevant directories and files to the empty git ignore file, then you'll notice that the explorer has far less green. This allows us to see that we're ignoring the desired directories, which is helpful. I'll place a link in the show notes for the entire git ignore file, but the key elements have been highlighted. Now that we have the critical plugin and theme under version control, we'll want to commit and push our changes to our GitHub repository. The following commands we run will likely be nothing new, and they are provided when you create a new repository on GitHub. First, we'll add our remote repository, stage all our files in Git, commit and push them to the remote. Next, we'll want to set up our GitHub Actions. These will trigger our deployments to WP Engine. We'll need to set up an SSH key to allow our GitHub repository to communicate with WP Engine. Lucky for us, WP Engine already provides us with instructions on how to generate an SSH key when using the provided GitHub Marketplace deploy actions. We'll generate an SSH key on our local computer. Be sure to replace the file name You'll likely want to skip the passphrase. Once we've generated the key, we'll want to copy the public component to our clipboard. We'll then visit our user area of the WP Engine portal. Under My Profile, there is an SSH keys area where we can add a new SSH key. This is where we'll paste the contents of our clipboard. Next, we'll copy to our clipboard the private component of our new SSH key. We'll store the private key in our GitHub repo's secrets area. The private key in GitHub will authenticate with the public key on WP Engine every time we run a GitHub action deployment. Be sure to note the name of your secret variable. This is what we'll call in our GitHub action when we need it. 
Now that we've hooked up our SSH keys, we'll want to add our GitHub actions to our repo and commit and run our first deployment to verify that everything is working. We'll need to create a new directory in our repo to store our actions. Then we'll create a YAML file for each action we want to run. Since we want to run different actions per branch, then we'll create a main and stage YAML file. Notice how our main YAML file has a few key differences in its workflow versus our stage YAML file. These are what differentiate which WP Engine environment each branch will deploy to. Also note that in both workflows, we've added our GitHub secret SSH key. We've got everything set up and now it's time to test and run our first deployment. First, we'll want to stage and commit our changes. Then we can push our changes to our main branch. Once we push to our main branch, then we'll be able to see our GitHub actions being triggered, run, and successfully deployed. Now, remember we wanted to stage Corp's site for them to review on their WP Engine staging environment. Right now, we've just deployed it to their production environment. So, We'll create and check out a stage branch and push our actions to trigger a deployment to the staging environment and verify it is successful in GitHub. There you have it. Deploying code to WP Engine is made easy with WP Engine's GitHub Action Workflows. Be sure to read through the great documentation and reach out if you hit any snags. We're always looking for ways to improve.